Hey guys, it's Cal with the Lighting Doctor here. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about two main transformers we use. A simple single tap uh, 150 watt transformer versus a multi tap 300 watt transformer. And when you should be using those, how many lights that you can put on there. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have comments or questions, please leave them below. Now let's get into some of your guys' questions. All right guys, first I wanna show you the 150 watt transformer. The one we use most of the time is from FX Luminaire. It's the EX 150 watt transformer. The reason we use that, it's a very simple design, uh, very basic, very economical, but extremely well built with the same um, great components, technology, support, warranty, and everything that FX Luminaire offers. Basically, all it has is a simple on, off switch, um, but you can go and pair that with a smart timer and all kinds of other different timer options, which is similar to more, uh, most of your professional grade transformers. Uh, basically has two taps, a common tap and a 15 volt tap for two sets of, um, for I guess basically both sets of your wires, your common and your, um, your 15 volt. There is no polarity when it comes to low voltage. So there's no plus or minus, it doesn't matter. When you go buy some uh, low voltage stranded wire, it's gonna have two components to it. It doesn't matter if they're consistent throughout. It's not like wire and a stereo. So it really doesn't matter. As long as you got one wire going on one side, one wire going on the other, it's as simple as that. Uh, the other nice thing about this one that I'll explain is, is you can actually have up to three separate runs coming out of here, which means I could have my two sets of wires going in for one line. I could have another set that I can still use the same taps because these terminals are big enough to hold up to three 12 gauge wires. So I could have three separate lines running off of this transformer as long as it doesn't overload my power source. Now, how do you um, size your transformer? Real simple is you take the combined wattage of all your lights. So say you have 10 five watt lights, you add that up, that's 50 watts. You always wanna make sure you have a transformer that size at least 20% more than that. So in that case, you'd want something that's 70 watts or higher. Now, it doesn't really matter um, I wouldn't go buy something that's so super extreme. When you had halogen lights, you had to be a lot more careful with that. With low voltage, if you go get a 150 watt transformer like this, you're not gonna overload your system. You can easily put 20 to 30 lights on here, depending whether they're path lights, wash lights, up lights. Again, just add up that wattage. Just make sure you probably have less than 130 watts on here. The only thing to be careful of is now, depending on the lights that you're buying, Cheaper lights are not as efficient. So although it might say five watts, there's a lot of times where they're actually consuming seven to 10 watts. So something you have to be really careful of, the better the quality of the light, the closer that number is gonna be. That's why you leave 20%. If you're buying a cheap crap light, well, leave yourself probably 100% room. So if, you're, uh, if they say 60 watts, plan for 120 watts. That's just from experience, because I get those emails and calls all the time. Hey, I bought this. Hampton Bay, this Moon Rays, this Home Depot brand of lights. I've only got 10 lights on my 60 watt transformer. I'm only, should be only using 30 watts, but I can't get it to work. It's because they're pieces of junk. They're not very efficient. That's probably the issue. So with these, you can easily put 20 to 30 lights. Um, I really like that. Um, and like I said, you can have three separate wire runs coming out of here. So you can fit a lot of lights on here. If you have to have more or you're not comfortable putting all those in one, a lot of times what we'll do is we'll just run a wire down. So our wires will come down below our transformer and in, in the ground, that's where we'll tee off one line, two lines, and three lines. Keep in mind, this comes with a 15 volt tap. So you start with 15 volts here. So what does that mean? That means you can run a lot of line and a lot of lights before the voltage drops enough that it's gonna significantly affect those lights. Again with a good quality light, most of them are designed to run anywhere from nine to 15 volts, which means you can lose a lot of voltage around that line. Um, I'm not gonna go into it in this video, but if you want more info on voltage drop and how to calculate that, very simply, uh, just search Lighting Doctor on YouTube for voltage drop. There's a whole bunch of videos where we have charts and everything that show you a very simple way of figuring that out without having to do a bunch of com, um, fancy calculations. So basically a chart that has white and pink. If you fall in the white, you're good. If you're in the pink, you're bad, but uh, very simple. Go check that out. Otherwise, this transformer will easily hold 20 to 30 lights. Run a line to your front, run a line to your back, run a line, a line to your side. You're good with this transformer. Now I'll get into when you would use a 300 watt transformer. 
All right, now I'm gonna get into a basic 300 watt transformer. What's the difference? Well, it's bigger, you can put more lights on it. So again, use that same rule where you add up all your lights. Say you got, um, say you got 40, 40 lights, they're all five watts each, that's 200 watts. You leave a little bit of room, you can easily fit all those on a transformer like this. The real benefit to that is one is size. So if you're not too sure and you're thinking of expanding, this is a really good option. Um, they're pretty much all the same. This is a Kitchler one. Uh, the one that we typically use is from ProTrade. I'll be honest to you, they're all the exact same. They're all made in the exact same place. They just brand them differently. Um, but they're good, they're stainless steel, same thing, simple on off switch, but you can fit a lot more lights on that. So that's a one advantage. The second advantage is sometimes, now these got used a lot more when you had halogen systems because when you had halogen bulbs, you had to make sure that the voltage that was reaching those lights was between um, usually 11 and 12, 13 volts, which means you really had to manage your voltage drop. You had to test your wires and all that kind of stuff. Again, with LED and with the lights in specific uh, that we use from FX Luminaire and some of those companies, they can run anywhere from nine to 10 volts all the way up to 15 volts. So again, that's where this is a little different. So if you'll notice here, there's multiple taps. I don't know if you can see because of the light and stuff, basically I have a common tap right here, which I'm gonna have one of my wires going in, and then the other part of that wire is either gonna go into a 12 volt, a 13 volt, a 14, or a 15 volt tap. So I have four different taps. Mainly the reason for that was because when you had halogen, you could put the different runs in different, um, in different terminals to manage that. It doesn't matter so much with LED. The only thing that I usually say if you have a really long run and you have lots of lights and you want to use multiple terminals, always start with the bigger one and then the smaller lines with less lights, use the smaller ones. But anytime you're using either one of these transformers, whether it be the 150 watt, the 300 watt, just start with the 15 volt tap, the 14 volt tap. You, you're better off giving your lights more. You're not going to fry them. They're designed to operate in those levels. So it really doesn't matter. This is more of a... Um, way more of a halogen system thing. They just still make them like this. So it doesn't really matter. The only ease of that is now you can have those multiple runs coming out of different taps instead of trying to jam them all into the two terminals here. So if you got lots of lights, lots of runs, this is just a better transformer for that. But basically they're identical. This is 20 to 30 lights. No problem with this one. You start getting over that 30 lights uh, and you possibly want to expand. That's when you go into a bigger one. You can have the same timer options, all that kind of stuff. The only difference is size, how many lights that you can put on it. So that's basically the gist of it. Again, uh, running wire is really simple. I'll show you guys uh, really quickly here how to wire into the terminals and then uh, we'll be on our way. Oh yeah, so wiring lights is pretty simple. I mean, you have a transformer like this. I, I'm always gonna say it's better I usually get like a little four by four cedar post, pound it into the ground, and I'll mount my transformer on that. The reason being, I just, I hate putting holes in a house, I don't have to. So if I don't have to put it on the siding or anything like that, I'm always gonna put it on a post. It's just easier to move if I ever have to. Um, it's just easier to deal with with so many things, and I don't have to put more holes in my house. But basically, this is what it's gonna look like. You're gonna have a face plate like this that is gonna uh, come off. And then all you gotta do is you basically just run, so. In this case, these are just 18 gauge wires, um, just cause inside here they're easy to work with. You're gonna be using 12 gauge wire. Um, you can save a couple bucks if you go to 14 or 16 gauge wire, which I know a lot, a lot of landscape companies and stuff do to save a couple bucks. But if you ever wanna expand or anything like that, that's where you're gonna run into those voltage drop issues. It's a pain in the butt if you gotta go after the fact, run a whole new line out from your transformer. Just use 12 gauge, save yourself a bunch of headaches. If you're using a good LED system, if you're not going over you know, 50 lights, you don't need anything bigger than 12 gauge unless you're running like 500 meters or 500 feet plus of line on a single line, not in total, on a single line, you don't have to worry about it. I've, I've done some big projects. I've done properties that have three houses on them and we've had only two transformers and it's, it's probably 12 acres large and we still never had to use more than 12 gauge i've still never had to use a bigger transformer than either one of these um so i would tell you 99.9 percent .9 of the time you guys don't need to worry about it basically really simple you're gonna have a common you're gonna have your 15 volt tap if you're using a multi-tap doesn't matter you're gonna have a common and then you're gonna have your other taps pick one that's it 
you just gotta back the back the screws off on those so that you can get your wires into those terminals there's usually just a screw slide that up into your common I'm gonna tighten that down and then I'm gonna do the same with my 15 volt and if you have like I said earlier if you've got multiple wire runs well then you just open that up and you're gonna throw three three wires in one and three wires in the other um, but basically that's it you just screw them in and you're good to go this is all low voltage what the transformer does is all it does is it converts your power source from if you can see behind me I got a 120 volt power supply which is which is common this just converts it down to the 15 volts that we need to go and run our system If you didn't have this you'd blow up your low voltage lights so that's basically all you do again like I said this has a simple on off switch um, there we go it turns on my lights and if you want to add a timer to this there's two options that I like um, is one is a photo cell it's basically a little plug-in photo cell where you just take this thing off and then you plug it into there and you put the little photo cell timer out this little hole here so it can read the sunlight and then it goes on and off with dawn and dusk what I prefer what I like better is you see again how this is plugged into a wall if you have an existing smart system whether it's Lutron or whatever and you have a smart plug you can literally just plug the transformer into that leave this in the on position and then control it on the same system that you already have we use a outdoor plug an outdoor uh, smart timer I won't even name the name of it because it doesn't even really matter at this point and it can always change we're always trying to find better ones uh, the one that we use right now is from Wyon it works good I know it lasts outside but basically all we do is you can either do one of two things you can plug that uh, smart timer into the wall and then you plug your transformer into that timer and then you can control it from your phone or the other option because some people don't like to have the timer you know exposed or where people can see it then you can actually put it in here there's this little plug here you basically just unplug that you plug your timer into this and then you plug this into your timer and then you can conceal it inside now depending on the timer you have it can be a little tight to fit in there but usually you can get it in there um, but if not you can always just plug it into the wall too both work great if you have really good Wi-Fi you're probably okay to put it in here if you have weaker Wi-Fi at your house or something like that you might want to keep it outside of the transformer it's just gonna get a better signal um, but that's basically it guys that's the gist of a transformer it's so easy to install low voltage landscape lighting we've literally helped everybody from retirees to 70 year old uh, ladies to kids to um, my kids help me install lighting it's low voltage it's safe um, there's so many benefits to it. It makes designing a system so much easier, especially when now you're using LED lights where you don't have to worry about voltage drop. You don't need fancy, uh, I don't even, I barely keep it with me so I don't even have it, but you don't need fancy voltmeters and all that to go measure a bunch of stuff. You can definitely use that. It can definitely help the efficiency, but it is not needed. Um, that's why we started this channel. That's why we sell our do-it-yourself kits because as smart as I'd like to think I am, you guys can go do this too. If we can help you along the way, then that's what we're going to do. So guys, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, go check out all our videos, go visit us at lightingdoctor.ca. Now you're halfway there to installing your own system. If you just need a little help with design, we offer all kinds of free consultation tools to help with your design, which is probably the toughest part. So again, thank you guys so much uh, for watching and we'll talk to you soon.